Hello, Peter. Good morning, everyone. So, welcome to the next class where we are preparing ourselves for Indian statistical services. And uh, every day I meet you from Monday to Friday, 11.30 a.m. And we do some questions based on ISS preparation. Okay, beta. So the topic that I want to go ahead and I want to take for today, that is called as probability. Right. I'm going to take some past year questions of probability and we are going to go ahead and try to solve these questions. So it, question number one. So this goes ahead and says that you are shown the number of heads when eight coins are tossed. Right? And you need to find the probability of getting heads less than four. And I'm given some options here. So option number A is 0 0.21. And option B is 0 0.37. Option C is 0 0.27. Option D is 0 0.48. You're given four options here. And you need to tell what is the probability of going ahead and getting a number of heads uh, less than four when eight coins are tossed. Okay, let's try to solve this question. So... So we can go ahead and we can say that probability that number of heads are less than 4. This can be better probability of getting 0 head plus 1 head plus 2 head plus 3 head less than. Huh? So 0 head means I tossed the coin 8 times. Out of 8 I am getting 0 head into probability of getting head is half. And probability of getting tail is half. Plus, out of 8, I am getting exactly one head. Probability of getting head is half. Probability of getting tail is also half. Plus, out of 8, I am getting two heads. Probability of getting head is half. And probability of getting tail is half. So, here I am just using, if you, if you just see here, I have just gone ahead and I have just tried to use the formula that given the probability of success is NCR, P to the power R, Q to the power N minus R. So I am just trying to go ahead and I am just trying to use that thing here to solve this question, right? Plus, out of eight, I need three heads. Probability of getting head is half. Probability of getting tail is also half. So this will be five. So this is 8, C0 means 8 factorial, 0 factorial, 8 factorial, half to the power 8, plus 8 factorial, 1 factorial, 7 factorial, half to the power 8, plus 8 factorial, 2 factorial, 6 factorial, half to the power 8, plus 8 factorial, 3 factorial, 5 factorial, half to the power 8, right? So this will just be 1. So I will get 1 by 2 to the power 8. And then this will be 8. So 1 by 2 to the power 8. This beta, if you just solve this, this will give you 8 into 7 by 2. So this will be 4 into 7. 7, 14, 21, 28. Half to the power 8. Plus this is going to be beta 8 into 7 into 6 by 6. So this is going to be 8 into 7. 8 into 7 is going to be 56, right? So this is going to be half to the power, half to the power 8. Now this is this is fine. So if you just have to find the probability of this, just take 1 by 2 to the power 8 common. 1 plus 8 plus 28 plus 56. Mm. And 28 plus 8 is 36 plus 56 is 92 plus 1 is 93 upon 2 to the power 8. That would be the answer to this question. So what you can now go ahead and do is just try to go ahead and you can just, you know, calculate this. 
and uh, you know if i just go ahead and do 2 into 2 4 so this is going to be Ninety three divided by so we know sixteen into sixteen will be two fifty six. So ninety three divided by two fifty six, right? That would be the answer to this question. So let me just try to use the calculator. This is going to be approximately zero point three six three two. So if I just look into the options, this seems to be a good enough option zero point three seven. So the correct answer to this question will be B. Okay. Let's look into the next question, question number two that has been asked in these papers. So this is a fill in the blank question and I'm going to give you four options to this thing. So I am saying that if you have a sample space, right? And I want to ask you what is going to be probability of this and can be explained by dash perspective of probability, right? You need to fill in the blanks. So first one classical, second one empirical third zero classical and fourth one axiomatic take some time try to do this question yourself okay so we know of course that when we include the entire sample space the probability of sample space is always 1. If everything is included, the probability of sample space will become 1. And how can we go ahead and how can we explain this thing? It can be explained through the axiomatic approach. So there are three axioms to probability. The first axiom to probability is that probability is always between 0 and 1. Right? The second axiom of probability is that if anything is a certain event, right? or the sum of the probability, that is always 1. And the third axiom is that the probability of union of mutually exclusive event is the sum of the individual probability. So probability of A union B will be probability of A plus probability of B if A and B are exclusive events. So these are some of the axioms of probability and such questions can be explained through the axiomatic approach of probability. So the correct answer to this question will be uh, D. Right? Okay, beta. So we will stop the session here for today and I will continue meeting you in more future sessions in the future. Okay, beta. Thank you.